what I think is that cost actually is an important factor of quality engineering and the ability to go through and saying, if you improve your cost, that is necessarily going to help improve your stability and your reliability and your performance. It will make your, your systems better, even if you're only focusing on the dollar value. Hello, welcome. Uh, Mark, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and who you work for, please? I'm a senior cloud engineer at Plaid. We're a financial data aggregator integrator. You probably haven't heard of us directly, but if you've used uh, products like Venmo or Wise, you've probably gone through and used us as part of the sign-up flow. Great. And Mark, you're delivering a talk this year at Lead Dev West Coast in Oakland in October. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about on stage then? Sure. So my talk is called How Much Is That API Call in the Window? And fundamentally, I want to talk about how, how much cloud costs, how much clouds cost. I'm sure we've all you know see, seen the price list, but never really seen the actual result. And the idea is that companies are spending a lot of money on this and may not be getting the value they expect. So it's going from uh, we just run it and hope for the best to uh, uh, cloud, cloud costs are a part of your engineering process. So the idea is... You know, much of you care about stability and reliability and security, cost becomes another pillar that you care about while building systems. Yeah. And why is cloud cost management an important topic for you right now? Other than like, you know, the out external uh, uh, economic factors, uh, I found that cheap software tends to be good software, tends to be reliable software. Like those are the big pillars that I found. Like if I had to go through my list of the most expensive software, we would find systems that have, they have trouble scaling. They page their on-call engineers a lot. They're hard to operate. They need extra careful handling. Whereas the really well-optimized software doesn't require that. They Those engineers don't get paged. Yeah. And can you tell me one thing that you've learned about cloud cost optimization over the last year that you want to share? Most engineers actually really do like it. Like there are some that don't, but there are a lot of people who think, hey, this is a new challenge. This is a new thing I haven't done before. I really want to learn about this. How can I make this software a lot better? And just the chance to go back through and fix things is really exciting for, for a lot of engineers. Yeah, great. And then when you walk off stage uh, in a few months time, you'll be feeling very relieved. What's one thing that you hope the audience takes away from your talk? I would love it if they could integrate cost management as just another pillar as part of their software development process, reliability, security, maintainability, uh, as well as cost. And if you can, fo even focusing on just one of those, you will help improve costs and improving costs will help all your other aspects as well. Yeah, nice. And then lastly, why did you choose to share this talk with the lead dev community later on this year? I think that um, no one's really thought about cost a, a whole lot. It's just something that the accountants have to deal with. What I think is that cost actually is an important factor of quality engineering and the ability to go through and saying, if you improve your cost, that is necessarily going to help improve your stability and your reliability and your performance. It will make your, your systems better, even if you're only focusing on the dollar value.